Hello. Welcome to February 14th. Hope you're having a good one. And if you celebrate happy, er, Valentine's Day, then happy Valentine's Day to you. For everybody else, it's February 14th. <laughs> I will warn you guys ahead of time. I am not completely sober right now, so... I may get either really invested in the game and stop talking for a little bit until I remember exactly what I'm doing, or I may just flip from one thing to the next and be a bit of a disorganized mess. I don't know. I thought I'd try it and see if it makes this whole experience a little bit more entertaining. Not that I don't find it entertaining. I actually really kind of do, which I didn't think I would, to be honest. I thought this was just going to be like a grind and I'm going to hate it and then well, that's what I was worried I would think but all in all I mean I think on the whole I'm enjoying this so I'm going to keep doing it anyway so fair warning I'm a little high it's legal where I am don't call the cops and I have to remember before I start playing the game to turn off the stream will start soon sign because I'm always terrible at remembering it a lot of times I don't even bother using it because most of the time I forget about it until I'm 37 minutes into an hour long stream and I feel like a dope so if you're out there and you see that it's still on please be a lamb and remind me in case I forget I would really appreciate it I usually start a few minutes before, but I really don't have any housekeeping items. I could talk about what appealed to me about this game. Um, the fact that the main character, well, the male character, because you can choose between a male or, or female character, the male character kind of looked like Mario. And... That kind of, that instantly drew me. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but it just kind of reminded me of Mario, and I like Mario. He's a cool dude. So I thought, okay, maybe this guy's a cool dude too. And it just, I don't know, the music appeals to me. It's very lighthearted. It's very sweet. And I do think you need these kinds of games to balance things out, you know? But that's just my opinion, and that works for me. I can go from playing this to playing freaking iron meat and I'm fine um, I don't, I'm not really too picky about genre the only reason I don't like horror is just because I don't really enjoy I don't get the opportunity to enjoy it because it I'm too afraid playing the game of what's about to happen the anticipation drives me nuts and makes my anxiety worse so I don't really get to enjoy it in that way you can call me a chicken, I call myself a chicken, it's fine. But any other genre of game, I'll probably find something to enjoy about it. It may not be my favorite thing, and I may only play it once in a blue moon, but there's always, I believe there's something to enjoy in every game. Then again, I haven't played every game, so... There are games that exist like uh, Gollum. Although, you can get the same enjoyment out of that as you would from watching a bad movie. Okay, that's enough chatter. What do you think? Should we get started? I'm gonna remember to take down the sign. There we go. And let's start. Gaucho and the Grasslines by Ipa Epopia, Epopia Games. They are a. Oh, right, that's right. That was one other thing. They are a Brazilian uh, game developer. Which threw me, because I'm listening to the... Because the little dude, or the lady that you control, talks. And I thought, is that like... Is that... What is that language? Because I couldn't make it out. Is it like a Simlish kind of game? Like the language they speak in The Sims, which is not real words, just sounds like a language? And then I, I thought, wait, wait a minute. I'm wondering if that's Portuguese. Because it almost sounds Portuguese. So I looked it up, and sure enough, the developer's from Brazil. So that answers that question. So I believe they're speaking Portuguese. Anyway, let's go to new. Oh, yeah. 
bananas. <laughs> okay, right on. This guy looks like he needs two holsters on his hips. This guy looks like a bad dude. I kind of like it though. I'm going to keep it. Customize our horse. Oh, just the color. Okay. Yes. The dark horse for the dark rider. And... Oh, it looks like a fox. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a fox. Buenas, Gaucho. <laughs> Shepherd boy. <laughs> Okay. Reminder, I am a little high. I'm sorry. It's legal where I am, like I said. Uh, welcome to the grasslands. It looks like the curse. Okay, there's a curse. I didn't read anything about this game. I didn't read the story. I knew there were some mystic elements. Maybe I should take a second to just read the Steam page and see if there's any insight into what's up with... Uh, I'm just going to call him Gaucho. Let's see. Gaucho in the grasslands. What do we have to say? Uh, that's his word about the companions. Really not much on the Steam page for what the story is. Um, about this game. Cusco, the dog, and uh, Alizao. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I apologize. The horse are your faithful friends. They are the ones who embark with you on this adventure and help you collect new items to build your farm. Alizao, I really hope I'm saying that right, will help you explore pace, places and herd some animals, while Cusco, with its keen sense of smell, will help you find hidden items that are not found anywhere else. Huh. Okay. Mystical beings inhabit this exclusive area of the game that can only be accessed through a magical portal. Oh, this is another section about the mystic world. But yeah, okay, so there's a curse. Alright. I'll, I'll just take it. There, there's a curse. Alright, cool. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. One second. There we go. Explore, collect resources, craft tools, breed cattle, and build your new farm. Okay, so that sounds like the game in a nutshell. You can also deal with the curse on the horizon. I'll help you at the right time. Hmm. That implies I don't have to. You can if you feel like it. That would be kind of neat if it didn't force me into doing that and it just let me build my farm and coexist across from this crazy looking place. Huh. Living here, you'll break the curses and one day restore all your memories. Then again, maybe I do have to deal with it. I don't know. Um, I don't mean this to sound uh, denigrating in any way, but sometimes there's a language barrier for people that are not native English speakers, so I don't know if... I'm, I'm going to have to play it by ear, because sometimes things don't translate perfectly. Uh, you're finally here. No need to rush now. Just relax and enjoy. Okay. Don't forget, this is a demo version. If you have any issues or suggestions, please use the bug report feature. Don't forget to save and have fun. And for anybody that's watching right now, that's really important. Um, not everybody reports bugs. Not everybody reports difficulties that they're having with something. The more information the developers get, the, the faster they'll be able to address issues and eventually release a more polished version of the game. So please, 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 please... For your sake and everybody else's, report bugs if you find them. And be nice about it, if you can. So, we've got our gaucho bandido. And this is our area. There's the crazy cursed place. So what do we do exactly? I like that I don't have to do anything. It just says, oh, just chill out and have fun, so... What's this? Ah, here we go. Crafting screen. Press to see all recipes so far. See the required ingredients on the right panel. So we gotta press tab. So what's this? 
Forgotten recipe. I hold zero. Required two of... What are these things? Oh, just grass. Okay. Um, all right. So we made grass rope. Not very strong, but gets the job done. <laughs> what is this? What is... And why is that dog going crazy? Oh. <laughs> okay, I love the voice. Oh, I really love the voice. Okay, so... That one looks like... Wood? So what do we got? Grass, grass rope. Candle, okay. Almost looks like dynamite. Rawhide, return in the leather, and twigs. So I want to build what? You look like an axe. But you also look like an axe. But that looks like a harder to build axe. Look at the requirements of here versus this one. This looks like a pickaxe. Is this a machete? Another pick. Oh, okay. So this is, this must be like a level one version of the, like the basic craptacular axe that you can get. And then this must be the upgraded version of it because one of the ingredients is an axe. So it's probably just upgrading the one that you have. So that's probably what this is. This is a tier one pickaxe and this is a tier two pickaxe. Yep. Okay. What's this? Well, let's see. Okay, we can make leather from hide. We don't need any special equipment for that. That's fine. What is this? Hmm. Well, I can't build it. I don't have whatever this is, and I do have one leather. I wonder what that is. Okay, anyway. Uh, oh, yeah, so what did we need for tier one axe? This looks... Oh, it's a grass rope. Um, what is that? Stones? Rocks and twigs. Okay, so where are we going to find the rocks? Come on, horsey. Let's go for a ride. To charge the lasso, hold the left mouse button. Well, I don't want to lasso anything yet. I just... Oh, wait. What you got, buddy? What the hell did you just pick up? Clay and metal scrap. Okay. Cool. Thanks, buddy. So these are the rocks that we need. Okay, cool. Let's get a bunch. Get as many as we can. I really hope that there's no limits on how much inventory you can have or how much, uh, yeah, how much stuff you can carry because in these types of games, I will sometimes just go on blitzes picking up resources that I will eventually need. Like, I'll do that for maybe, like, 20 minutes. Not when I'm streaming, though, because I imagine to watch, it's, it's probably kind of boring. Wild farm animals. Capture big animals, hold and release to use the lasso while on horseback. Okay, well that's all well and good, but I imagine I have to put them somewhere, right? What's that? What are these buildings over here? Let's let's check these out. Call your horse with R. What is his name? Uh, Alasau? Or Alasau? Is it? Is I'm trying to remember? I know that. Is it in Portuguese where the Zs sound like, almost like S's or C's or, hmm. This place looks like crap. Like it's in disrepair. What is this? Can I do anything here? Nope. 
Okay. Maybe that's for later. What about this? This looks like a barn. Oh no, this is a... Uh, it's if I want to sell stuff or buy stuff. Is that what going to tell me, Shepherd Boy? Yep. You will find trade centers like this here and there. Guide the cattle here using your horse to trade for resources. No wild bulls. Well, that's sexist. That's all I gotta say. So what? Oh, I don't have anything to sell. Okay. What's... Why is this area... Oh. New ranch land. To build your ranch, you need to trade resources for new land. Interact with a sign to call the land seller and see the cost. Am I hearing the dog barking? No, that's not it. Okay. Press B for build mode. Alright, well, how do I... Oh. Ah, that's a lot of rawhide. Grass rope. And two iron pickaxes. Iron pickaxes? Sorry, buddy. I don't have that on me. Uh, hell, I don't even have a regular pickaxe. Or, uh, iron axe yet. Or regular axe, or whatever the hell they are. Let's work on that. So we need... Is this the right one? No, this is it. I need more grass rope. I don't have any grass. Oh, there's some right here. Oh, I can pick that one too. Okay. Thought it might be too tall. Let's just make a bunch of these because I have a feeling I'm going to need a lot. And grass is cheap. Alright, stone axe. Only good enough to cut fallen trees. Okay. You can have multiple tools at your disposal. Press to change the active tool. Q and E. Using tools. Press or hold to use tools. Some on horseback. I'd love to use my iron axe while on horseback. Where the hell is that dog? Okay, so we can't just hold it. That's fine. Oh, I can cut down these little ones. But not those ones. Yeah, okay. Okay, so let's go back to the starting area. Oh, there's dog or fox or whatever. Cusco. I'm just going to call him Cusco. Where the hell's it going? What the? What the hell? How high am I? I didn't just imagine that, right? Like it, it did it again. That's very interesting. I don't think that should be happening. <laughs> so dog is in a loop. Um, there's a glitch in the matrix, which means the agents are going to show up any second now. And he's still going. Okay. Uh, maybe I need to go back to the original area. But that's a bug, and I'll I'll check the Steam page and see if it's already reported. If not, though, I'll report it. Because I have a vested interest in these games getting better because I want to enjoy it at its best. Wait a minute. I'm going to get wood. I think I already have a lot of twigs. I don't know. I thought I heard an owl.
buddy. Well, stop. Stop running. Why are you running away from me? I can't call him either. Oh, that was the horse. Where exactly do you go? Oh, what? You were trying to get to this spot the whole time, and you broke the game to do it? Good boy. Oh, actually, I needed something in there. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you, dog. But can we proceed without breaking the game anymore, please? Oh, I need a machete for these ones. Oh my god, dog. Actually, I'm starting to wonder if I'll be able to buy this sooner rather than later. Because this dog, this wonderful dog, is finding me a, a bunch of, like, rawhide, which I can turn into leather, which I think is one of the requirements, right? Oh, no, no. Not even. I don't even have to do anything with uh, with the rawhide. Just give him the rawhide and two iron axes. So what I'll do is I'll just focus on making the iron pickaxes. And then I'll let dog keep finding stuff. So let's get... Let's see what we need. What's this? That looks like this. Wood board? Oh, it is. Okay, cool. So let's build two. And where's the iron pickaxe probably going to be? Wait. Oh, I just straight up built two iron pickaxes. So that means all I need is the rawhide to buy this place. Oh, snap. Would you look at that? Did he just make the jerk-off symbol at me? Man. That guy's a real jerk. I just need somebody who speaks uh, Brazilian Portuguese to translate for me. I want to hear what that guy says, because it doesn't sound like it's very nice. Watching it, parts of the game respawn right before my eyes. That's kind of neat and weird. But I mean, it's gonna happen anyway, whether I'm looking or not. I kind of like the way that it happens. It just sort of like pops up with a little, you know, puff of light. Where's dog? I have to keep an eye on him. Where's the other island? I need to get back over there. Actually, I need to make a third pickaxe anyway because... Oh, I can't. What you got? Well, never mind. Look who this special shit. There, one for me and two for the sale. What? You, what you got, buddy? I thought you had something. Almost enough rawhide. to do anything for this. I just need to let the dog do all the work. He's just finding all sorts of stuff for me. Can I make a better axe yet? Oh. But 
But yeah, this game really is kind of relaxing. Music is soothing. You got anything more, dog? Nothing? No. Well, you know what? Let's just build here first. Oops. That was the wrong button. What do we need for this place? We've got everything we need. Okay. Same to you, pal. No idea what he said. Could have been person the day I was born. Alright, so B for build modes. What can we build? We can build a house with door. Ten clay tiles, ten stone bricks. Ten wood boards and ten nails. Okay. The cursor. Use the cursor to change categories and pick a recipe. If you have enough resources, you can build the object. Observe the grid on the ground to position your buildings. You can build outdoors and indoors as well. Fair enough. Oops. All right. So let's see. That's not enough. Oh, we got ten wood boards. Okay. Uh, looks like a nail. This? Or this? This? Actually, this looks more like a nail, I think. Okay. And what's this thing? Oh. We needed these, too. We also needed... What did it say? Stone brick, right? Stone brick. I'm guessing that's the... What are you? Can I use you? Nope. <laughs> kind of weird overlapping dialogue there coming from the same guy. I'm not nitpicking, it's just a, it's a minor issue. Those look different. Oh, what's this? A new recipe. Could it be stone bricks? It makes perfect sense. I feel like the Mario comparison is going to be made eventually with Gaucho and Mario. And I don't think it's fair. I, I don't think it's going to be... I don't look at Gaucho as a knockoff. He's more like Mario's more laid-back, chill cousin. They, they see each other maybe on holidays every once in a while. He does definitely seem more laid back, though. Just, like, love and life. Doesn't have a princess to rescue. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Doesn't have a Yoshi to feed. He's just got a horse. And a cute little fox dog called Cusco. Who is constantly finding stuff. You are awesome. I wonder if that's going to get annoying at one point. Oh, I don't even have an axe anymore. Oh, dude. Come on. Um... Okay, so this is... Oh, went straight to the iron axe. So I'm guessing I can... That is the wrong tool. Wait, what? This is the correct axe. I'm holding an iron axe with precise moves that cuts down trees with ease. Uh, why can I? I can use it on this. I 
can I use on this? And now I can use it on this. Okay, I'm, I'm confused. I don't have another axe in my inventory, do I? Unless I was just using the wrong tool and didn't realize it. I'll have to check the tape afterwards. I know, man. I know. Holy hell. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Take a rest. Take a break. I'm trying to do something. God. Yeah, all of this stuff is respawning right in front of me. That's kind of neat and weird, I think was what I said earlier. Alright, let's build some. Oh, dog. Okay, okay. Down boy. So we need stone bricks and wood boards. Because I have a feeling I'm going to need a lot of those. And stone bricks. <laughs> Thank you. Please take a rest. Uh, okay, so how does this work? Let's just plonk it down and that's it? Where's the... There it is. Alright, let's go inside. <laughs> sounds very Looney Tunes. Alright, so we can press B for build mode in here. What can we build? An iron stove. Sure. What else? We need tree trunks for chairs. A breakfast table, so we need a lot of wood. We need metal. A lot of stone. Metal. Stone. So we basically need all of the tier two resources. Twigs and rocks won't do. We need stone and wood. Well, let's build up. Modest. We're gonna make some some modest accommodations. How do I get out? <laughs> it's a it's a little weird. <laughs> I just didn't expect to hear that. All right. So the big stone pieces haven't respawned here yet. So we're gonna venture out a little bit more. So that was weird. Basically, I was I was locked in. I couldn't change the camera at all. So the first thing I did before I started playing actually was um, change the camera sensitivity because by default it was all the way down to the very 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 lowest, which wasn't gonna what the hell? Which wasn't gonna work for me. What the hell just happened? Music changed, camera changed, what's happening here? The Shepherd Boy. This labyrinth was created by the... Oh boy. I'm gonna have to look up how to say these names properly. Boy Tata? To trap his prey? This mythical beast will attack you, so watch out for it. I've marked the spots to help you purify this place. Good luck. Uh, I ain't purifying anything yet, brother. Oh, the curse. The mystic being Boy Tata has taken over the pompous. 
You will need to enter its domain and confront it to end the curse. Create many totems and prepare to enter the Boitata's domain. Find the marks. What the hell is that thing? Oh, that must be it. Find the mark spots and build them. Watch out for the beast. Uh, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> that was a very sudden... Uh, just... Oh, damn, the camera thing locked on me again. Uh, that's... That's a little annoying. Candles and Raha. I could probably go and buy that place now. So, I'm guessing the underground bonuses that the dog keeps finding also respawn. And that's why he's finding them all again. Cattail things. No, don't have a machete. Alright, so we got a stove. Let's build a breakfast table. Here? Musket three. And a chair to go with it. Maybe another chair. Maybe another chair. And another chair. Oh crap, I built too many chairs. Well, I can build a kitchen sink. And the cabinet. Okay. Just need to make some nails. Hmm. Well, let's move the camera over a little bit. Why am I not moving the camera? That's weird. Okay. It's fine, I guess. And cupboard. Right there. There we go. Yeah, got a nice little uh, kitchen area. Don't have a bed. So. Fiber fabric, how am I going to make that? Is there anything here that... Well, actually, first I wanted to see if... Interacting... Okay, you can interact with it. It's not doing anything, though. Okay. So can I build onto this house then? Need more stuff. I 
Actually, I do want to see one thing. I want to see what else I can build out here. Build a place for my animals. Build a fence. Ah, oh, dog is going crazy. Ah, okay. So, let's build gates. I don't know. Sure. So, we need nails, clay tiles, and wood boards. So, we definitely need more wood. Where are you going, bud? Where are you going? Where are you going? It's funny, to, I pressed E to get off the horse, because for some reason I felt like I was playing Skyrim for a moment. Oops. But I feel like this is a game I could easily get lost in for a little while. That's a fairly stress free experience. Which. Isn't that exactly what people want from chill games? I mean, I can only speak for myself, but it's what I want. Can I use any of these trees? I'm guessing no. I'm guessing I can't even cut these ones down. Oh no, I can. Is there any tree I can't cut down with this thing? The only ones I can't cut down are the ones I can't reach. Actually, I'm glad I explored over here because there's some stone I need. It's just over yonder. Just want to keep my horse close by. Just to save time, I'm going to go for the big pieces. Because I think I've got like more than enough of the little rocks. No idea where my horse is, but that's fine. He'll run as fast as his little legs can carry him. Go, Gaucho, go! Oh, cool, these trees respond too. Alright. Um. Alright, so we need. Let's just make all the clay tile we can. I feel like I'm gassing up a car. That dinging sound. And the fact that it sounds like liquid. Yes. 
The dog's barking the whole time. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, because I was going to build a little, uh, you know, bedroom so Gaucho can sleep because it's nighttime. Right. I need stone bricks. But I can't use all of them. I thought I heard him barking again. This dog is driving me nuts. What do we want a corner? Yeah, let's build a corner. So now, can I go in here? And, oh, okay. Maybe I'll need to rearrange this a little bit. Um, oh, I can't move them all together. Shoot. All right. Let's move this. Over a bit. You, 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 and you. Is that enough room, you think? Come in and immediately walk into this chair. Yeah, okay, I don't like that. Uh, this is a part where I'm going to be a little picky. Maybe you just put it up against the wall. And you know what? Gaucho doesn't have any company right now, so maybe let's just put these over here for when we need them. Now the thing is, I don't know how to make fiber fabric. Okay, so he's got a door. And a fireplace. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Maybe I'll put it in his bedroom. Keep him warm. Oh! You can build musical instruments. Okay, that's kind of cool. I really want to do that. Hmm. I wonder if it's one of the buildings I need to build outside. I can build a loom or something. Small bench, large bench, mystic windmill. Don't know what that does. Hmm. I don't think I have a recipe for... Oh, it could be one of these... Is it one of these undiscovered recipes? What's this? Small mystic totem. It grows when placed on the right mark. Amazing. Oh! Are these the totems that I need to defeat that curse? Probably. Okay. It's just a small quality of life thing. I don't need to hear that dog if I'm in another menu barking away. It's a real little thing. But I guess part of the reason I'm, I'm pointing out little things is because the game on its own. It's fun, it's enjoyable. Fence. Wait. 
kettle. Okay, I don't know what that is. I mean, I know what a kettle is, but I don't know what it is in this context. Oh, shoot. I used all the metal to make nails. Whoops. I just did try to call my horse Rosie. Oh, there he is. Let's try lassoing something. Oh, missed. Ah. Okay, I need to back up a little bit. I was getting frustrated that I'm terrible at lassoing. It's like, ah, hurry up. What the hell? Because it's not the direction that the camera's facing. It has to be the direction that Gaucho's facing. Maybe that one's bugged. Oh, got him. To raise farm animals, you have to build the barn they need. Build some fences to keep them close by and safe. Bring a bull to the barn to raise new animals. After some time, it leaves, and you need to find a new animal. Well, I, I don't know what to do with this guy now. Um, oh, right, I can't take him here. They don't want... They don't want bulls. Oh god, I wish I knew what he was saying. Are there subtitles? Oh, I'm already in English language. Oh god, I'd love subtitles. I don't necessarily want to hear this guy speak in English. I just want to know what he's saying. Oh, I'm just going to let you go because I have no idea what to do with you. Maybe I just can't lasso cows. Because that bull was really easy to lasso. Alright, so I gotta wait for... I gotta wait for Doggy to find me some, some more metal. Because I want a little ham on making nails. <laughs> Think who's good, what do you got? Oh, he's got some metal scrap for me. Good boy. that now, man. What? Where did the gate go? What did I just do? Oh, no. Did I accidentally delete the gate? Oh, man. Okay. Whoops. Okay, I did hear him barking. Alright, let's build our cattle barn. Uh, why is it in, 
Why is there an X? Why can't I build it? Um, what's happening? Gave me a bunch of stuff back. Did it sell everything inside? No? That's weird. Okay. I wonder if... I wonder if this area is not big enough? Or if it can't build it because there's stuff in the way? I mean, I wish I knew. I wish it would tell me. Because now I have to resort to trial and error. And why is my gate all the way the hell over here? How the hell did... How the hell did this happen? And now where did it go? Oh, I'm so confused. I have no idea how my gate got there, and I have no idea where it went now. Okay, I'm, I'll probably find it at some point. Just like I happened upon it now. Unless... I really should use my horse more. Come here, buddy. It's not over here, is it? Ah. Okay, so we've got some issues. I, I keep every once in a while getting the um, camera locking. It's locked right there. There we go. Is it happening just when I'm pressing shift? Huh. Okay, so... What we can try doing... is buying this land over here and seeing if we can... put down a barn... is so cheap now. Yeah, he's... He looks like he's doing the jerk-offs... Uh... Move. <laughs> I don't know if it's... I, I really don't know if it's him, like... Sh if that's just the animation of him... It's supposed to be him shaking his fist, but... To me, it does not look like that. And it could just be my mind. You might just see a shaking fist, but... I know when some people get angry, they do that. They're like, oh, you know, fuck off. And they'll just make that motion. And I don't know if that's the case. I kind of hope it is, actually. This guy doesn't like being jerked around with. And he's saying you're jerking him around. Anyway, we need a... <laughs> Sorry. I'm just kind of hung up on that. So he's stone pickaxe. Okay. I'm... I'm yeah. Pretty sure. Mm, so this must be it. Okay. Here we go. Yep, I agree completely. Olha o tamanho do meu rincão Oh, okay. So this this should have fit over there. Wait, why am I restricted to only this area? It's fine that you want to restrict me, but just tell me why. It's all I'm all I want to know. Let's build in the corner here. Good. I was worried that it was just going to look like crap. Um, so we need eight grass rope. Let's 
Put the gate right there. And we need more metal. Where's dog? I don't know where he's going, but usually when he runs off like that, he's found something. Where are you going? Okay. It's a little weird sometimes where he goes that far. It's like he's... It's as though if you go out of range of where he's found something, he has to take you back to that spot. It won't just say, okay, he's out of range, so let's just drop it. Hmm. Again, minor thing. I'm still able to play the game largely. So. Okay, I think we've got enough to finish our fence. I'm not going to build a terribly large one because I don't need to, so I can build three more fence segments. Oof. Let's build a sh smallish fence. We are going to need more metal, though. That's weird. So I need two or three more metal, buddy. Come on, get on it. Come on, dog, go. Come on, man, I'm waiting on you. Nothing? Okay. So let's build. Where was it? One. Oh, just one. Come on, man, hook me up with some more metal. there was a more reliable way to get metal. Yeah. Right now, Cusco seems to be the best bet. Come on, bud. Find me something, please. There we go. 11, that'll allow me to build, what, two more? That should be good enough. So now what do we do? <gasps> oh no. I built the fence on the wrong side. Oh, that should be easy to deal with. There we go. for something. Oh, that's why I couldn't build on that area. It's There's two separate lots. Uh, 
I'm not clear on what I'm supposed to do here. I think I'm supposed to keep that open first. That was weird. Get back here, buddy. Okay, that was pretty cool. Ran him down. It's not like I'm doing anything bad with him. Just like, get in here and do your thing with... Oh. They <laughs> get busy right away. New farm animals. Farm animals are born from a barn with a bull and a cow. Be sure to watch them grow into healthy adults. Okay. Oh. Uh, I should give them some privacy. Looks like they're getting their groove on. We've only got a few minutes, but what I wanted to check out, because I built three of these totems, and I know I needed totems for dealing with the cursed area. So let's go check that out before I sign off. Ah. Sorry, camera froze again. Place it. Oh, gotta put it in build mode. It sounded like a pretty sinister laugh, Gaucho. So that areas of the ground that are lit up, I take are areas I'm supposed to avoid. Easy, buddy. It's okay. I won't intentionally let you come to any harm. See one place where there's a totem supposed to go. Oops, that's the wrong button. Alright, where's the last totem supposed to go? Maybe out there somewhere? Oh, no, right there. How do I get there? That end. Hmm. Oh, crap. I know, I know, buddy. It was a close call. This is outside of it. Okay, we did something. Great job. You scared the boy Tata and freed this region. People lived here, but they left when the curse covered the land. In time, they will return to this place thanks to you. Okay. Oh. So, got another trading center. can't go in any of these places, I don't think. This is a chicken dealer? Or is a chicken coop? 
I don't know. A water wheel. Cool. Well, it's a lot nicer to look at than, you know, what it was before. Oh, Jesus Christ. How the hell did my gate end up all the way over here? Okay, I'm just going to try deleting it. There we go. At least I was able to do that. I didn't have to be stuck with some random-ass gate in the middle of nowhere. Eventually, I could just say it's an art piece. And have people come by and ponder its existence. Oh. You can hurt animals by going near them on horseback. It's a bit hard, but you can do it like a true gaucho. Oh, I thought the gaucho was his name. What the... <laughs> oh, God. I've been calling him gaucho. I'm just going to look up what gaucho means. If it means anything. Means. Gaucho means nothing. What did you mean? Yes, I didn't put the accent. Oh, cowboy. And how do you say it? Gaucho. Gaucho. Ga what is it? Gaucho. 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 Okay. Not Gaucho. Where are we hurting them? I'm not going to lie. Uh, hurting was one of my favorite things about Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> I don't know why. It just... If there was a chill game where all you did was just deal with hurting cattle... I think I would enjoy it quite a bit. No, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? No, 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 no. Oh. Uh, I didn't actually mean to do that, but okay. I guess that's how you're supposed to sell your cattle. Huh. So what am I getting all here? Getting stone bricks, reeds. Oh, I should see if I have it. Gourd. I wonder if I have new crafting recipes. Fiber rope. What are you? Is that this thing? Oh, okay, so this was a metal straw. And what is this? Looks like a bag of weed. Um, which, I mean, that would be cool. Ah, fiber fabric. Now I can build a bed. Okay. So that's how you advance. You have to do herding in order to... Are they still in there? Oh, they're just manufacturing cows. As long as the as long as long the barn is a rocket and they're making little calves and cows and stuff like that that I can sell for stuff. Okay, I understand. Come on. No, 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 no. I need to sell you for a gourd. And some reeds. No, no, where are you, what are you doing? Don't go through walls. That's against the laws of physics. You too, buddy. I know, I know, I know. Come on.
So we got a bit of a clipping issue there. That's okay. No, where are you going? Where do you think you're going? Come on. There you go. No, 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 no. You too. Well, the hurting part's actually pretty easy. I mean, you get the cow moving in the right direction and it'll do the rest of the work for you. What is that? Yerba Mate leaves. Oh, this must be tea. Where is it? This. No. Oh, okay. Grinded tea leaves. So we can make tea. Find a comfortable place to sit and enjoy this warm drink. Well, you know what? I think that's a great idea. Let's go back to our barn. Is this still a rockin'? No. I need to find another bull. Let's do that first. Come on, buddy. Your services are needed. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I brought you home a date. There you go. You get to making babies. <laughs> I didn't know this was going to be the game. A critical component of the game when I got it. And it just kind of works out that I picked this one for Valentine's Day. <laughs> so there you go. Enjoy. It's Gaucho. I hope I said that right. And the Grassland by uh, Epopea Games. And I don't know if I say that right either. So check it out. The demo's actually pretty good. There's some, again, some minor issues. But those can easily be fixed, I think. Um... But if you do try the game out and you do find any problems, do let the devs know. Again, it helps them make a better game. I hope you've enjoyed it. Actually, I've enjoyed it quite a bit. This was a lot of fun. Very soothing and relaxing and just the kind of game I needed for tonight. So, I'll be back... What day is it today? Wednesday? I'll be back on Friday. And I have no idea what I'm going to be playing then. i got a couple of things I wanted to check out. Um, What was the other... Because it was a toss-up today between this and Rebel Transmute. Uh, Rebel Transmute. It looked like the old Teenage, teenage Mutant Ninja um, arcade game. The side-scroller, the four-player one. Remember the one in the arcade? You maybe don't, but it was really popular. Really expensive, too. I remember that thing was like a quarter pig. But, yeah. Every time I went past the arcade I always saw people playing that and I always wanted to play it too just because it looked so cool but anyway Rebel Transmute kind of reminded me of that it seemed like it had the same vibe so I might check that one out Friday I, as always I preview these things for a few minutes just to make sure that the game will stream properly and that my system can't handle it so yeah I'll check it out if not maybe we'll continue with um, Gaucho I think that's right but if you have any suggestions, if there's any games that you want me to try, any indie demos or whatever, just let me know. You can message me on Twitter. I am still working on my Discord. So you'll be able to message me there as well. But in the meantime, hope you have a great rest of your February 14th. And for people that have already started on the Feb 15th, enjoy that too. I'll see you back here on Friday. You have yourselves a fine evening. And I'll see you next time. So long.